The new Toyota Fortuner has arrived, and for some, this might not be the best news. However, it's not that the new model is subpar. On the contrary, despite the intensifying competition, Toyota continues to dominate every segment they're in, and the new Fortuner is proof of that. The powertrain, performance, design, and every aspect of this SUV are meticulously crafted. That's why it's been flying off the shelves, and they've just made it even better. Toyota is pulling out all the stops with this new model. The global SUV lineup, including the Sequoia, RAV4, and Land Cruiser, is undergoing a significant revamp, and the Fortuner is not being left behind. The Fortuner is not a one-trick pony, it comes in various versions and body styles, all powered by diesel. The upcoming Fortuner packs a punch with its 2.8-liter 1GDF TV diesel engine. And guess what? It's pretty fuel-efficient too, clocking in at an estimated 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers. So, if you're into SUVs that pack a punch without guzzling gas like there's no tomorrow, the Fortuner might just be your vehicle of choice. But here's the twist. It's not your average diesel. Hold on to your seats because here's where it gets exciting. Toyota is shaking things up with a 48 volts mild hybrid system. Not only will it reduce fuel consumption and emissions, but it will also give you that extra power off the line for some seriously swift acceleration. This bad boy's sleek mild hybrid setup and an integrated starter generator give it an edge in fuel economy. Toyota is dubbing this diesel hybrid powertrain as the GD Hybrid, and trust me, it's a game changer. With this hybrid setup, the SUV is going to sip fuel like it's savoring wine. Plus, thanks to regenerative braking, it'll harness kinetic energy during braking. And get this, the new Fortuner is riding on the TNGA platform, the same one found in Land Cruisers and Lexuses. Toyota is going all in on innovation, which is why they're introducing a new mild hybrid setup that keeps things spicy. This TNGA platform can handle wheelbases ranging from 2,850mm to a whopping 4,180mm. On top of that, when it comes to muscle, the Fortuner isn't playing games. It can tow up to 3,100 kilograms without breaking a sweat. Now that's what I call a serious upgrade. So why is this platform such a big deal? Well, it's all about performance and efficiency, and with Toyota leading the charge, you know you're in for a ride that's anything but ordinary. This game changer will be the backbone of the upcoming Innova Hi-Cross. It will be the perfect fit for the new Fortuner. So, if you're one of those die-hard diesel devotees, it looks like Toyota's got just the ticket for you. Some folks are still sticking to their diesel guns, and Toyota's got them covered with the option to get a Fortuner that is powered by a beastly 150 kilowatts, 500 newton meters, 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine, paired up with a six-speed automatic, a four-wheel drive system with a rear diff lock. This SUV is ready to tear up some terrain. This is really good for people who are all about saving on diesel, whether it's because it's more convenient or they're in a spot where petrol just isn't an option. Now here's the deal. There are pros and cons to each setup, and we all know that. So why are they making so many changes so fast? Let's talk about that. Toyota is on a quest to transform its image, and they're not holding anything back. Just look at what they've done with the latest Toyota High Cross, talk about a transformation. The Fortuner is receiving the same treatment. We're talking about smartphone projection, a panoramic sunroof, a revamped instrument cluster, and a sleek 360-degree setup. Toyota is going all out, especially when it comes to safety features. If the Innova High Cross is getting a taste of it, you know the Fortuner is going to be fully equipped. We've been discussing its performance a lot because it deserves in-depth attention. It's a highly capable SUV, but now the Toyota Fortuner isn't just about power, it's loaded with tech. Think advanced driver assistance systems, blind spot detection, automatic emergency braking, all the essentials and more. It's time to bid farewell to that old hydraulic steering wheel. It's getting a modern electric upgrade for smoother handling. But Toyota didn't stop at the interior. So, let's talk about features. The latest models are packing LED headlights, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and some sleek 17-inch alloy wheels. Plus, you've got a variety of colors to choose from, like glacial white, silver sky, and even feverish red. Now here's where it gets really practical. The interior is designed to be functional. There's seating for seven inside, and you can fold those rear seats down for some serious cargo space. With all the seats up, you're looking at 200 liters in the trunk. But fold them down, and boom, you've got a whopping 1,800 liters to play with. But let's talk about something that's been making headlines on the new Fortuner 
which is the wheels and tires. And let me tell you, it's next level. When we're talking tires, we're talking sizes that range from 265 by 65 R17, tailor-made for modern SUVs. But hey, it's not all bad news. Buyers get some sweet perks thrown in, like Toyota Connected Services. Think emergency calls and stolen vehicle tracking. Pretty nifty, right? Plus, the GX gets a lit-up instrument cluster. The GXL and Crusade step up with dual-zone climate control, and the Crusade throws in some extra goodies like surround-view cameras, blind-spot monitoring, and rear cross-traffic alert. But here's the burning question. Will it break the bank? Let's be real. All these upgrades must have cost them a lot of money, and that won't just disappear into thin air. If you ask me what the chances are of it being a budget-friendly ride, I would say slim to none. Let me explain. First off, it's riding on the TNGA platform, which already sets the bar high on costs. Plus, throwing in that mild hybrid setup, you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to cost a pretty penny. Toyota's not just stopping there, though. They're tossing in some fresh bells and whistles to sweeten the deal. So brace yourselves, the new Fortuner might come with a hefty price tag. Toyota's gearing up to drop the hot new Fortuner over in Thailand first, and we're looking at a range depending on which trim level you're eyeing, kicking off at a cool $50,500. Now we could sit here all day and talk about how their rivals could use this time to snag their diehard fans, but let's be real here. Toyota is renowned for its vehicle's strong resale value, which is a testament to the brand's reputation for reliability and quality. On average, Toyota vehicles retain 85.52% of their value over five years, ranking them sixth among all car brands. This impressive resale value is attributed to Toyota's consistent delivery of durable, high-quality vehicles that stand the test of time. Whether it's a standard model or a high-end variant, Toyota cars are known to maintain resale value between 50 and 70%, ensuring the owners receive a substantial return on their investment. This positions Toyota as a wise investment for buyers seeking a vehicle that will yield long-term financial advantages. I understand if you're a Fortuner enthusiast and were hoping to upgrade to the new model without a significant price increase, this might be somewhat disappointing. However, Toyota has a solution, the new RAV4. The new RAV4 is also being launched with a host of new features and impressive performance, but the price increase hasn't been substantial. You might have heard about the new upgrades due to all the buzz, but people have been discussing the new upgrades more than anything for a good reason. The 2024 Toyota RAV4 is said to revolutionize the compact SUV segment with its sleek design and state-of-the-art technology. It promises a combination of performance, comfort, and safety, making it an appealing option for any driving enthusiast. The prices start below the Fortuner, and there are also several trim levels to choose from within each powertrain option, so the final price can fluctuate depending on the specific features you select. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.